Hello, good afternoon. I am Professor G. N. Rajapa, Professor and HOD, Department of Mathematics, CIT, Chikumagalur. Now, I will continue Laplace transform. Properties of Laplace transforms. Property 1, if L of F of T is equal to F of S, then prove that L of F of L of T to the power of N F of T equal to minus 1 to the power of N D N by D S N of F of S. So, property 1 is if L of F of T equal to F of S then prove that L of T to the power of N into F of T is equal to minus 1 to the power of N into Nth derivative of F of S. We can write like this also here minus 1 to the power of N into Nth derivative of F of S. Proof is very simple. Proof. So, given f of s is equal to L of f of t, this is given. By definition, f that is L of f of t is equal to that is f of s is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t f of t dt by definition. So, by definition L of f of t equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t f of t d t. This is the definition. And now here differentiating both sides, differentiating both sides with respect to s. So, differentiating both sides with respect to s, we get derivative of f of s with respect to s is f dash s equal to d by d s of f of s is f dash s equal to here d by d s of integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t f of t d t. So, differentiating both sides we get d by d s of f of s is f dash s equal to d by d s of same as it is right here integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t f of t d t. That is f dash s is equal to. So, integral from 0 to infinity del by del s of e to the power of minus s t into f of t d t. Here if you write this d by d s inside then the ordinary derivative becomes partial derivative as per here Leibniz rule. From Leibniz rule, here this ordinary derivative becomes partial derivative. If you write this here inside of this integral, that is the f dash s is equal to integral from 0 to infinity. Now, you differentiate here this partially with respect to s, treat t as constant. We are differentiating with respect to s means t, treat t as constant. Derivative of e to the power of minus e s t is e to the power of minus e s t into derivative of minus s into t with respect to s. Derivative of s with respect to s is 1 into minus t. So, that is minus t into f of t d t. So, derivative of e to the power of minus s t with respect to s is e to the power of minus s t into derivative of minus s t is minus t into 1 that is minus t. That is f dash s is equal to that is f dash s is equal to or you can write multiplying both sides by the negative sign here, the minus is there. So, multiplying both sides by the negative sign then that becomes here minus f dash s is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t into t into f of t d t. 
So, multiplying both is by negative sign here, then this becomes minus f dash s is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t t into f of t dt. That is minus f dash s is equal to that is equal to L of t into f of t. By definition, if there is only t here, then that is L of f of t. If t into f of t is there, then you write L of t into f of t. That means L of t into f of t is minus f dash s. So, that is L of t into f of t is equal to, so minus f dash s. Similarly, we can write here L of t square f of t is equal to, for t you will get one negative sign, for t square you will get one more negative sign, that means minus into minus, that becomes minus one whole square and this becomes f double dash s. So, if it is t square, for t only you will get one negative sign and f dash s. For t square, you will get one more negative and one more that means f double dash s or second derivative of f of s. Similarly, we can write L of t cube f of t is equal to minus one whole cube into f triple dash s, etcetera. So, L of t to the power of n into f of t is equal to minus 1 to the power of n into n to derivative of f of s or you can write here minus 1 to the power of n into n to derivative of d n by d s n of f of s. That completes the proof of this property. Second property number 2. Next property, same here, same to be f l of f of t is equal to f of s, then prove that l of, then prove that l of f of t divided by t equal to integral from s to infinity f of s into d s. Second property is if L of f of t is equal to f of s, then prove that L of f of t by t equal to integral from 0 to s to infinity. This is very important here. This is integral from s to infinity f of s into d s, not 0 to infinity. So, this is s to infinity f of s into d s. Proof very simple again by given or by definition. So, proof or definition given f of s equal to L of f of t or definition. So, given f of s equal to L of f of t, that is f of s is equal to, so by the here by using the definition L of f of t is integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t f of t d t. This is the definition. Here we want here integral from s to a infinity f of s into d s. Here only f of s is there. So, we want integral from s to infinity f of s into d s. That means, integrating both sides. So, integrating both sides integrating both sides with respect to s from s to infinity here integrating with respect to s from s to infinity we get here just integrate both sides with respect to s from s to infinity then that becomes here integral from s to infinity f of s into d s is equal to so integral from s to infinity you write the same as it is right here integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t f of t d t into d s. So, integrating both sides 
with respect to S from S to infinity, then this becomes here left side becomes S integral from S to infinity, F of S into dS equal to integral from S to infinity, same as it is right dS. That is equal to here by changing the order of integration, first you write this integral from 0 to infinity, at the same time in S you write this integral from S to infinity, say we write the same e to the power of minus S T F of T into by changing the order means first you write d s d t. So, d s d t because by changing the order of integration that means first you write here integral from 0 to infinity next you write integral from s to infinity and here you interchange these two by changing the order of integration that is equal to integral from 0 to infinity now you integrate this part here. So, we are integrating here this with respect to S means f of t is constant only we have to integral of integrate here e to the power of minus S t. By using here standard formula integral of e to the power of A x d x is equal to e to the power of A x by A, e to the power of A x by A like that here integral of e to the power of minus S t with respect to S that is that is integral from S to infinity left side here f of S into d S is equal to integral from 0 to infinity integral of e to the power of minus E s t with respect to S is e to the power of minus E s t divided by minus t from S to infinity into f of t d t. So, integral of e to the power of minus, this is important here, integral of e to the power of minus e s t with respect to s is e to the power of minus e s t divided by minus t, same here, minus t. That is equal to integral from 0 to infinity, integral from 0 to infinity, so, now you put S is equal to infinity here, put S equal to infinity, infinity into T is also infinity with negative sign is there that becomes e to the power of minus infinity minus put S equal to S, you will get the same that means e to the power of minus S T divided by minus T into F of T d T. We know e to the power of minus infinity equal to 0 e to the power of minus infinity is 0, that means this is equal to here integral from 0 to infinity 0 minus e to the power of minus e s t divided by minus t into f of t into d t. Here minus minus cancel that is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus e s t into f of t by t d t minus minus cancelled here e to integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus e s t by t into f of t d t and that is equal to. So, if there is no t here then by definition this is L of f of t by definition if divided by t is there then you write that is equal to L of f of t by t. So, here if only f of t is there by definition that is L of f of t by t is there here. So, right that is L of f of t by t that completes the proof of this property. That means, here if L of f of t is f of s then L of f of t divided by t is integral from s to infinity f of s into d s. Examples So, examples
find L of find L of t into cos A t find L of t into cos A t. So, by using the property number 1 if L of f of t is equal to f of s then L of t into f of t is equal to minus 1 to the power of 1 into d by d s of f of s. This is the previous property, property number 1. So, if L of f of t equal to f of s then L of t to the power of n, if it is n here, here also minus 1 to the power of n into n to derivative of f of s put n is equal to 1, you will get L of t f of t is equal to minus 1 to the power of 1 d by d s of f of s. Very simple problem here. So, we know that L of cos a t is equal to, so we know that L of cos a t is s by s square plus a square. So, L of cos a t is s by a square plus a square. Now, if you write t here, therefore, L of t into cos a t is equal to, so this is f of t, this is f of s. By using that property here, if L of f of t is f of s, then L of t into f of t is equal to minus 1 to the power of 1 d by d s of f of s means s by s square plus a square. Here, if L of f of t is f of s, then L of t into f of t is equal to minus 1 to the power of 1 d by d s of s by s square plus a square or f of s. Now, you just differentiate, you will get the answer here. So, that means minus of by using quotient rule u by v method here, denominator whole square that is s square plus a square whole square. So, s square plus a square into derivative of s with respect to s is 1 minus s into derivative of s square plus a square with respect to s is 2 s plus 0, 2 s plus 0. Simplifying, so here s square minus 2 s square that is minus s square with this minus that becomes s square minus a square divided by s square plus a square whole square. here s square minus 2 a square is minus a square into minus that becomes plus a square minus a square divided by a square plus a square whole square. This is the answer. That means, L of t into cos a t is equal to a square minus a square by a square plus a square whole square. Next example, find L of t into sin a t. Find L of t into sin a t. Same type problem, we know that, we know that L of sin a t is equal to, what is the formula here? L of sin a t is equal to a by a square plus a square. So, we know that L of sin a t is a by a square plus a square. If you write t here, Therefore, L of t into sin a t is equal to by using that property here minus 1 to the power of 1 d by d s of f of s means a by a square plus a square by using that property here put n is equal to 1. So, just differentiate with respect to s you will get the answer. So, directly you can differentiate or you can use quotient rule here a square plus a square whole square. So, a square plus a square into derivative of a with respect to s, a is constant. So, derivative of a is 0 minus, so a into derivative of a square with respect to s that is 2 s plus 0. So, that means this term becomes 0 here, 0 into something is 0 here minus into minus plus 2 a s by so, 2 a s by a square plus a square whole square, this is the answer. 
here d by dx of d by dx of x is 1, d by dx of x square is 2x. So, if you differentiate the s square, you get 2 s. Next example, number 3, find L of t square sin a t, find L of t square sin a t. Same type problem, we know that the L of sin a t is a by s square plus a square. So, therefore, L of t square sin a t is equal to here if it is t to the power of n, then this becomes minus 1 to the power of n d n by d s n of, put n is equal to 2. We want L of t square, put n is equal to 2 here. Then this becomes minus 1 whole square into d square by d s square of f of s. That means here this becomes minus 1 whole square d square by d s square of a by s square plus e s square you differentiate two times with respect to s, you will get the answer. Minus 1 whole square is plus 1. That means here, this is positive, minus 1 whole square is positive. So, if you differentiate one time here, then that becomes here d by d s of. So, differentiate one time using quotient rule, that becomes here s square plus a square whole square, s square plus a square into derivative of a is 0 minus a into derivative of a square is 2 s plus 0. That means, that is equal to here. So, d by d s of. So, here minus you take outside here minus 2 a s by square plus a square whole square d by d s of. You again differentiate, you will get the required answer. That is equal to here minus of. So, a square plus a square whole to the power of 4. So, s square plus a square whole square into derivative of 2 a s is 2 a. Derivative of 2 a s with respect to s is 2 a into 1 that is 2 a minus 2 a s into derivative of a square plus a square whole square is 2 into a square plus a square into 2 s. u by v method here, s square plus a square whole to the power of 4, s square plus a square whole square into n, s square plus a square whole square into derivative of 2 a s is 2 a minus 2 a s into derivative of a square plus a square whole square is 2 into s square plus a square into derivative of s square plus a square is 2 a s. Just simplify, that is equal to here minus a square plus a square is common in the numerator, you take outside write the remaining here. So, the remaining is 2 a into a square plus a square minus 2 into 2, 4 into 2, 8. So, 8 a a square. So, 8 a a square divided by a square plus a square whole to the power of 4 a square plus a square whole to the power of 4. Now, here this a square plus a square cancel here, this becomes 3. Again simplify here. So, again simplify, this becomes here. So, 8 a a square minus 2 a a square, that becomes 6 a a square. Here with minus is there here, minus into minus plus 8 a a square minus 2 a a square that becomes 6 a a square. Next is here minus 2 a cube divided by a square plus a square whole cube. Or 2 a is common you take outside 3 a square minus a square divided by a square plus a square whole cube. So, 2 a is common here you take outside 2 a into 3 a square minus a square by square plus a square whole cube. Next example. So, 2 a into 3 a square minus a square by square plus a square whole cube. Find L of, find L of
find L of t square cos a d, find L of t square cos a d. Same type here, we know that we know that the L of cos A D is equal to so S by S square plus A square. So we know that the L of cos A D is S by S square plus A square. So if you write T square here, therefore L of T square cos A D is equal to so by using that here property put here is equal to 2 then this becomes minus 1 whole square d square by d s square of s by s square plus a square put here is equal to 2. So minus 1 whole square d square by d a square of s by s square plus a square minus 1 whole square is positive. So that means here differentiating one time d by d s of so this becomes here s square plus a square whole square. So s square plus a square into 1 minus s into 2 s plus 0 u by v method here denominator whole square denominator into derivative of s with respect to s is 1 minus s into derivative of s square is 2 s plus 0 that is equal to d by d s of d by d s of here simplify here minus 2 a square plus a square that means a square minus a square divided by a square plus a square whole square. So a square a square minus 2 a square is minus a square divided by a square plus a square whole square. Again here just to differentiate you will get the answer here again by using quotient rule. So a square plus a square whole to the power of 4. So a square plus a square whole square into minus 2s 0 minus 2s minus of a square minus a square into a square minus a square into derivative of denominator is here 2 into a square plus a square into derivative of a square is 2s plus 0. Just simplify and write the answer. Next to find the L of next example find L of T cube cos hyperbolic T find L of T cube cos hyperbolic T this is a very simple problem. here there are two methods here. So the first very simple method is we know cos hyperbolic theta is equal to cos hyperbolic theta equal to e to the power of theta plus e to the power of minus theta by 2 cos hyperbolic theta is equal to. So that means the given problem here that is L of t cube cos hyperbolic t is equal to that is L of t cube into cos hyperbolic t is equal to e to the power of t plus e to the power of minus t divided by 2 cos hyperbolic t is equal to that is equal to here 1 by 2 into you take 1 by 2 outside L of t cube e to the power of t plus L of t cube e to the power of minus t. And we know this formula if L of t to the power of n e to the power of a t is equal to. So L of t to the power of n e to the power of a t is equal to n factorial by s minus a to the power of n plus 1. We know this formula. So L of only if it is t to the power of n that is n factorial by s to the power of n plus 1. If it is e to the power of a t is there then we have to replace s by s minus a then that becomes n factorial s minus a to the power of n plus 1. Comparing here this is of the form l of t to the power of n that means n is equal to 3 
by comparing n is equal to 3 e to the power of a d forum a is equal to 1 put a is equal to 1 n equal to 3 you will get the required answer. That means that is equal to here 1 by 2 into 3 factorial divided by s minus a means 1 to the power of n plus 1 3 plus 1 4. Same type problem here put n is equal to 3 a equal to minus 1 here put a equal to minus 1 n equal to 3 then that becomes 3 factorial by s plus 1 to the power of 3 plus 1 means 4 or just simplify here 2 to cancel 3 factorial means 1 into 2 into 3 2 to cancel that becomes here 3 into 1 by s minus 1 to the power of 4 plus 1 by s plus 1 to the power of 4 this is the answer and one more method is there here second method here better use this method this is very simple method the second method is here by using the property so we know that L of cos hyperbolic t is equal to s by a square minus 1 square or 1 L of cos hyperbolic t so we want L of t cube cos hyperbolic t so t cube cos hyperbolic t means by using the property put n is equal to 3 in that property here put n is equal to 3 then that becomes minus 1 whole cube d cube by d s cube of f of s means s by a square minus 1 differentiate 3 times you will get the required answer same answer will get here it takes time better here use the previous method don't use this method here use the previous method next find L of t e to the power of minus find L of t e to the power of minus 2 t t e to the power of minus 2 t sin 4 t find L of t e to the power of minus 2 t into sin 4 t we know L of e to the power of a t into sin b t is equal to we know this formula L of e to the power of a t into sin b t is equal to so b by s minus a whole square plus b square so L of e to the power of a t sin b t is b by this value b by s minus a whole square plus b square now by comparing here put a is equal to minus 2 and b equal to 4 so put a is equal to minus 2 b equal to 4 so right we know that l of e to the power of minus 2 t into sin 4 t is equal to using that formula here so 4 divided by b by s minus a that means s plus 2 whole square plus 4 square put a is equal to minus 2 b equal to 4 or we can simplify here that is e to the power of minus 2 t into sin 4 t is equal to 4 divided by by using the here a plus b whole square formula here then this becomes a square plus 4 s yes, plus 4 plus 16 20 so a square plus 4 here 4 yes plus 4 16 plus 4 20 so if you write t here this we want here l of t into e to the power of minus 2 d sin 4 d if you write t here therefore l of t e to the power of minus 2 d sin 4 d is equal to if you write t then by using the property here put n is equal to 1 because this is t to the power of 1 put n is equal to 1 so minus 1 to the power of 1 into d by d s of same as it is right here 4 divided by a square plus 4 s yes plus 20 so minus 1 to the power of 1 into d by d s of you write the same as it is that means if l of f of t equal to f of s yes, then l of t into f of t is minus 1 to the power of 1 d by d s of f of s 
just to differentiate you will get the answer here minus of u by v or directly you can differentiate a square plus 4 s plus 20 whole square. So, s square plus 4 s plus 20 into derivative of 4 is 0 minus 4 into derivative of s square is 2 s derivative of 4 s is 4 plus 0. That means, that is equal to here minus into minus plus this is 0 here. So, minus into minus plus 4 into 2 s plus 4 divided by s square plus 4 s plus 20 whole square. This is the answer. So, 4 into 2 s plus 4 divided by s square plus 4 s plus 20 whole square. Next example. So, find the L of find the L of t to the power of phi, find the L of t to the power of phi e to the power of 4 t, e to the power of 4 t into cos hyperbolic 3 t. find the L of t to the power of phi e to the power of 4 t into cos hyperbolic 3 t. Again once again here we know cos hyperbolic theta is equal to e to the power of theta plus e to the power of minus theta divided by 2. That means here cos hyper theta is equal to 3 t then cos hyperbolic 3 t is equal to e to the power of 3 t plus e to the power of minus 3 t divided by 2. That means here, so L of t to the power of 5 e to the power of 4 t into cos hyperbolic 3 t is equal to, so L of t to the power of 5 into e to the power of 4 t into cos hyperbolic 3 t is equal to use that formula here. So, e to the power of 3 t plus e to the power of minus 3 t divided by, so divided by 2. That is equal to L 1 by 2 you take outside, the remaining is here L of t to the power of 5, e to the power of 7 t, e to the power of 4 t into e to the power of 3 t that becomes here 4 plus 3 is 7 t plus e t to the power of 5 into e to the power of 4 t into e to the power of minus 3 t that becomes 4 minus 3 1 t. That is equal to here 1 by 2 into L of t to the power of 5 e to the power of 7 t plus L of t to the power of 5 into e to the power of t. that is equal to here 1 by 2 into again once again by using the for previous formula. So, L of t to the power of n e to the power of a t is equal to, so n factorial by s minus a to the power of n plus 1. Here put n is equal to com by comparing here put n is equal to 5 a equal to 7 you will get the answer. Put n is equal to 5 a equal to 7 the answer is here 5 factorial divided by mm, s minus a means 7 to the power of n plus 1 means 6, 5 plus 1 plus a once again here 5 factorial divided by s minus a, a is 1 here, a to the power of a t, a is 1, n is 5 to the power of 5 plus 1, 6, this is the answer. 5 factorial means 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. Next example, find L of 1 minus e to the power of 1 minus e to the power of minus a t divided by t. Find L of 1 minus e to the power of minus a t divided by t. Here t is in the denominator, 
if t is in the denominator means we have to use this formula here that means by using the next property here if l of f of t is f of s then l of f of t divided by t is equal to integral from s to infinity f of s into ds. Here, if L of f of t is f of s, then L of f of t by t is equal to integral from s to infinity f of s into ds. So, here first we know that L of 1 minus e to the power of minus a t is equal to that means here Laplace transform of numerator that is 1 minus e to the power of minus a t is equal to we know L of 1 is 1 by s L of 1 is 1 by s L of e to the power of minus a t is 1 by s plus a. So, L of 1 is equal to 1 by s L of e to the power of a t is equal to 1 by s minus a replace a by minus a then that becomes 1 by s plus a. So, if you write divided by t here 1 minus e to the power of minus a t divided by t. So, if you write divided by t then by using this property here we have to integrate the right hand side. That means, we have to integrate this one here integral from s to infinity 1 by s minus 1 by s plus a into d s. So, the meaning of this one is here if L of f of t is equal to f of s. So, this is f of t, this is f of s. So, if L of f of t is equal to f of s, then L of f of t by t by using the property here. L of f of t divided by t equal to integral from s to infinity f of s means same here as it is right into d s. You just integrate you will get the answer here. We know integral of 1 by x d x is equal to log x. So, integral of 1 by x plus a d x is equal to log x plus a. That means, integral of d s by s is equal to log s minus integral of d s by s plus a is equal to log s plus a. from s to infinity. Here limit is from s to infinity. We know log a minus log b is equal to. So, log a minus log b is equal to log a by b. A log a by b. That means, a log a minus log b is equal to log a by b means s by s plus a from s to infinity. Log a minus log b is log a by b. Dividing numerator and denominator by s, that is log s by s into 1 plus a by s from s to infinity. Here you take s outside here in the denominator, s into 1 plus a by s. So, this s is cancelled, that is log. 1 by 1 plus a by s from s to infinity. Put s equal to infinity here, a by infinity is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 by 1 is 1, log 1 is 0. So, log 1 is equal to 0, that means this is equal to 0 minus, put s equal to s, you will get the same, that means log so, log of 1 by 1 plus a by s. Take LCM that becomes here minus log 1 by s plus a by s or you can write here that is equal to minus log s by s plus a or you can write here that is equal to that is also equal to So, log 
एस बाय एस प्लस सी ए टू दी पावर ऑफ माइनस वन सो लॉग ए टू दी पावर ऑफ बी इज बी इनटू लॉग ए दैट मींस अदरवाइज वी कैन राइट लॉग एस प्लस सी ए बाय एस दिस इज द आंसर सो दैट मींस लॉग हियर एल ऑफ वन माइनस सी टू दी पावर ऑफ माइनस सी ए टी बाय टी इज इक्वल टू लॉग एस प्लस सी ए बाय एस next example find l of sin a t divided by t find l of sin a t by t so this is important problem we know that l of sin a t is equal to We know that the L of sin a t is a by a square plus a square. If you write divided by t, that means L of sin a t divided by t. If you write divided by t, then by using the property here, if divided by t is there, then integrate from s to infinity. F of s means you write the same a by a square plus a square into d s. So if L of f of t is equal to f of s, then L of f of t by t is equal to integral from s to infinity f of s into ds. Now by here just integrate here. So a you take outside integral from s to infinity one by s square plus a square into ds. That is equal to a into. We know this formula integral of Integral of dx divided by x square plus a square is equal to one by a tan inverse x by a. So integral of dx by x square plus a square is equal to one by a tan inverse x by a. That means here one by a tan inverse of x by a means s by a from s to infinity. Yeah, yeah, cancelled. Put s equal to infinity here. Infinity by a is also infinity. Tan inverse infinity equal to pi by two minus. Put s equal to s. You will get the same here. That means tan inverse of s by a. Again, we know pi by two minus tan inverse s by a is equal to cot inverse s by a. That means by using here this formula here, tan inverse theta plus cot inverse theta is equal to pi by two. That means pi by two minus tan inverse theta equal to cot inverse theta. If a is one, then here next example here find l of sine t by t. You just go on put a is equal to one. You will get the answer here. Put a is equal to one. The final answer is here. Cot inverse yes. Okay, tomorrow continue.